My name is Brizetta Hendricks. I'm the treasurer for the Uiba Centre for Fontaine Conservancy in the northwest Kunene region of Namibia, and I'm as well the chairperson for the Southern Kunene Conservancy Association. I don't know if it's a little obvious, but <laughs> I would like to say that communities living with this wildlife carry the greatest cost of living with this wildlife. And um, I personally have, you could say, I grew up with elephants as pets, sort of, because we've had, maybe it's about 20 meters away from where our home was, where the elephants would come and come drink water. So I just think in the sense of if, if we want to have a say in, in, in sort of uh, wildlife conservation and that kind of thing, then the, the people that have, communities are the people that have cared for this wildlife before the world cared for it. So their voices should, should definitely be heard in conversations, bigger conversations regarding this wildlife. There was, there was a question earlier that was being asked about what are some of the interventions um, that have to do with um, people that are not actually living with this, with this wildlife. And uh, fortunately, in the context of, of, of Africa, uh, specifically Namibia, their rural community is actually, versus urban community, is, is about 50-50%. So that means a lot of people are already aware of, aware of this stuff. But it's, it's for the people that are not in day-to-day -day contact with, with this wildlife. So it's important that for them to, to give their sort of their share, they need to understand how they can do it because they can't, if they don't have, if they just sort of sit with their books and their sort of perspectives, then they don't actually know in the, the context in which uh, communities living with this wildlife, how they understand it and so forth. So it's important for communities themselves to, to present themselves um, accurately in that regard. Again, in the context of Namibia and specifically the CBNR program, the communal conservancies, um, conservancies have sort of zonation plans, meaning that um, in their conservancy, the area they've identified, okay, this area is for tourism, this area is for wildlife, this area is for farming and that kind of thing. So I think the best that we can do, especially for, for, for wildlife and in the concept of of conservancies, free roaming wildlife, is that we respect sort of the boundaries that we set in, in these this areas. If we have designated an area for, for exclusive wildlife use, that that's what it's used for. And people outside coming into communal areas should also respect that as well as um, the, the members, because that is sort of the only way that um, you're going to reduce sort of land use conflict. Um, um, in terms of, of I don't know, human wildlife conflicts that's going to arise because there's more and more contact with, with humans and wildlife.